dear ones, it's Hana. So I am sharing another segment of my BQH trade session with my friend and fellow practitioner, Christina, who lives in Australia today. In this segment, I was um, bringing forth information all about the awakened heart grid um, and how when we work with other people or connect to them um, from the heart, it creates this path of light and these paths of light are all uniting um, sort of like a network of mycelium covering the globe and helping to raise us up in vibration together so i hope you enjoy it's part of what some have referred to as the awakened heart grid so when various awakened hearts begin to work together there is a path of light between them and this is a vision she's seen many times before, though she did not know what it was in this way. Um, but there is a network of light, sort of like mycelium, um, with a light node, a circle of light at each intersection. And each circle of light is a, a, an awakened being. And these circles of light include um, those embodied and also those uh, such as those in the elemental kingdom who are embodied on earth, but in a different dimension. Um, so those that are working with, with uh, those embodied on earth who are also embodied physically, whether or not it's in the same dimension. Um, so we mean to differentiate this from those who are not embodied on earth. Uh, they are not a light node in this awakened heart grid, if you will, but, mm -hmm. but they are... Um, supporting and helping to facilitate and hold this energy regardless beyond that each um there's a like a circle of light a node and there's a a stream of light or path of light between each that is working together and so throughout the earth there or all over the earth in the various realms and dimensions interconnecting them all there's this web of light that is ever growing and ever strengthening and the more um each awakened heart works with the others that they know and love or share with whether or not the other is aware of it so each time you reach out to someone uh physically or in the etheric you're creating this um, light path between you. Mm -hmm. And so it functions in um, light and energy and information can travel between them, similar mm -hmm. to a ley line. However, these are um, smaller and uh, much more vast. They, there's... Um, when you look at it from far away, the light uh, between them is much more interconnected and also not as bright because it's not such a huge channel, but the brightness doesn't indicate the power or significance. Um, but the ley lines are, are much larger channels comparatively. Mm -hmm. um, so, this awakened heart grid um, is holding the energy and intention and understanding of where uh, you all are headed as a collective and as each one reaches out to others or connects with others from the heart in this way, um, regardless of what they're doing or how when it is authentically from the heart, it adds this light connection between you and this um, 
raise in energy and frequency to the grid, which is helping to raise the planet, if you will, in its journey. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm always astounded at what amazing information comes through in the sessions that I get to do with people. And both for myself and for my clients, it's just phenomenal to be able to bear witness to this. So if you have any interest in reaching out to have a session for yourself or to learn more, I'm going to list my website below and I would love to talk to you. Please feel free to reach out anytime about anything. The amount of information and questions that come through, the breadth of experiences that you can have um, from the first place perspective, like really feeling things as you're going through them and gaining a depth of understanding from that is so life-altering in the most beautiful way and I wish that for every one of us it has certainly helped me in my life and I hope that it will help you in yours in whatever way you access that so take care and I'll talk to you next week okay bye